Paul Rubens was better known as the hilarious character Pee Wee Herman, the star of the children's show Pee Wee's Playhouse, which ran for four years in the late 80s. However, at the height of his career, Rubens' world turned upside down as he got into some serious legal trouble. In July 1991, Paul Rubens was arrested in Sarasota, Florida. According to the Sarasota County Sheriff's affidavit, undercover detectives raided the adult movie theater Triple X South Trail Cinema. Three men were arrested before they spotted a fourth man, who they later identified as Rubens. The Tampa Bay Times reported that Rubens was seen to have exposed himself and was caught masturbating in the theater. The comedian was charged with exposure of a sexual organ and was later released on a $219 bond. At the time, authorities had no idea Rubens was a well-known children's character Pee Wee Herman. But when another officer filled them in on who Rubens was, the comedian tried to use it to his advantage. Reportedly, Rubens offered to do a children's benefit show for the sheriff's office in exchange for the charges going away. Knowing this would affect his career greatly, the comedian tried to do anything that might soften the blow. However, officials didn't let Rubens' celebrity status influence their decisions, and the comedian had to deal with the repercussions of his arrest. A $1,000 fine and a year in jail loomed over the comedian, as he had to wait to be officially charged. News of Rubens' arrest spread like wildfire, and there was conflicting emotion about his legal troubles. Just days after Rubens' arrest, CBS announced it would no longer be airing the reruns of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Toys R Us also announced it was pulling all Pee Wee Herman's toys off its shelves. Rubens' voice was also removed from all rides in at what is now called Disney's Hollywood Studios. He provided voices on the Backlot Tours and also the original Star Tours ride. Clearly, he had burned some major bridges. Put on the Pee Wee stuff and do Pee Wee. Surprisingly, however, many fans stood behind Rubens. There were several free Pee Wee rallies held in some major cities. In addition, the comedian also received some support from big-name celebrities. Ironically, Bill Cosby was one of those celebrities who defended Rubens, saying, Whatever Rubens has done, this is being blown all out of proportion. Rubens pleaded no contest and was slapped with a small fine and 75 hours of community service. Not too bad of a punishment, but the damage to his career was already done. Paul Rubens' lawyer predicted what was to come after the comedian's 1991 arrest. He explained how Rubens' career would be impacted by the story because of how closely he worked with children. Although Rubens had support from loyal fans, his career never truly bounced back. After his arrest in 1991, Rubens took a break from the spotlight. He eventually went on to do several more acting gigs, just not as Pee Wee Herman. In 2004, he revealed that he never fully understood the repercussions of being in the legal situation he was in. He told NBC News, I certainly wasn't thinking to myself, you're a children's show host. Your show is still on television. I wasn't making those lists. I feel like they were insinuating like, well, I was sitting in, you know, a darkened movie theater in my peewee suit. Still, he confessed that he was mortified by the situation. And it wasn't just the 1991 arrest that affected Rubens' career, because he was later involved in another incident in 2004. Per Variety, he was charged with a misdemeanor possession of obscene material depicting a child under the age of 18 in sexual conduct. Initially, the charges were for child pornography, but Rubens contested this, stating that he was a collector of erotica and didn't agree with the classification. He agreed to plead guilty to the misdemeanor charge after the child pornography charges were dropped. It seemed that with all his legal troubles, the image of Pee Wee Herman was tainted. However, he did attempt to revive the character several times years later, but it was never as successful as it had been in the 80s. 